All right, guys. What it it is a uh, little about quarter after twelve right now. So uh, the ability to get into this giveaway is officially closed, and I figure I might as well do the questions analysis. Actually, some of them are pretty damn interesting. Um, very excited to do these, <laughs> and I do not have a favorite question yet. No worries there. Um, I'll probably pick that later today, and uh, the hat thing and everything. I'll do that later today as well. So. Let's see right on this, and uh, I will say now that I will probably, I'll probably pause this audio once I get finished all the questions and try and pick the favorite one, so that, you know, so at the end of this video you'll be able to know, or somewhere in this video you'll be able to know, um, who won the second game. Um, I will definitely be trying to make sure they don't have just South Park as their wish list, but oh well. I can't do anything to change that at this point. And, naturally... I will be doing my best to give some decent answers here. Um, that's if they're decent questions, of course. So let's uh, let's get right to this. So you're given some wood, not the stick of truth, sadly. A roll of packing tape, a pocket mirror, and three items of your choice from your kitchen pantry. How do you use those items to defeat the evil machinations? I hope I'm saying that right. Of one particular dark lord. <sighs> so th this was the very first question that came in, by the way, and. Uh, the guy knows who. The guy knows he who. Ha everyone knows who asked this. I hate you for asking this because, God damn, this is gonna take me a second. I would say I'm gonna take that pocket mirror and tape it to that wood, and I'm just gonna bat three random items at Dark Lord. I will win that battle. That's the best I got for you. Sorry, I don't even know what's in the kitchen pantry. I have no idea. Uh, what's your favorite childhood game? Oh boy. I was going to say it's probably a tie between any of the Pokemon games I've played and um, Conker's Bad Fur Day. I loved the hell out of Conker's Bad Fur Day. It was amazing. But I would have to say... I'd have to say Pokemon Crystal. My favorite childhood game. Probably Pokemon Crystal. It's probably the game I spent the most time on during my childhood um, because I mean, once Leaf Green came out, I did play that. Probably not as much as Crystal, but uh, once you got to the Diamond and Pearl series, I didn't have a DS, so um, definitely gonna have to go with Crystal on this one. I know. I, normally, I wouldn't go with my most played game, but uh, we're going with childhood. I'm going with before I started getting into consoles. Um, so yeah. Uh, did you know that Jeepasaur sounds in Polish like Fuckosaur? I had no idea about that. That's really creepy. Do you ever do you ever feel like you belong in a different time period? If so, which period and why? I really wish I could say yes to this, but I don't. Uh, I think my time period, I think when I was born was just uh, the perfect timing. Um, I mean, it was when all, all the best, sh I think, personally, this is when you know, I, I was uh, born in the 90s. I would say... I, I, I had the I had the best cartoons, the best games. I mean, I I, just, I loved it. You know, I can't imagine being born any earlier or even later. I mean, ugh, I just, I can't imagine it. Um, <clears throat> let's see, uh, what would you do if you were a leader of multiple penguin minions and why? A leader of multiple penguin minions. It depends. What can what what can they do? Are they just are they just regular penguins? If they're regular penguins, I'm gonna send them out to uh, steal shit. I'm just gonna send them all. No, they'll. Yeah, I'll just send them all the fucking grocery stores and just steal shit. No one's gonna stop a penguin. But you can't stop a penguin. And why? I don't know. I think it'd be funny to watch the cops chase penguins. If you're, eh, yeah, if you're gonna die today, what would be the last string of acts you pull off, or you would pull off? This one actually, when I read this one, I had to ask. Or I didn't ask. I, I wanted to. Am I getting 24-hour notice? Like, am I being told you have, like, it's Sunday right now, so would I be told you have all of Monday? You're going to die at the end of Monday? I mean, do I get 24 hours notice? I hope so. Um, if so, I would, hmm, this one, I knew this one was going to take me some time, too. I, I, I have so many ideas of what I would want to do. I'm trying to make sure uh, uh, travel time doesn't take away too much of this away. Um, I'll definitely buy an Xbox One. 
just because. You know, might as well. Uh, I've got the money to spare, so I would do it. Um, I'm trying to think, what else would I do? I like uh, one day is not enough. Like if you were to say you get a billion dollars in one day, then I, I I wouldn't know exactly what I wanted to do. But one day, last string of Vegas, I would not do anything illegal, or not anything that would get me put in jail instantly. You know, like I'm not gonna shoot a bunch of people because who, who wants to spend the last day in jail? Um, if I do have a friend that's uh, three hours out, I would I'd probably go visit her for most of the day. And I obviously have to travel back. I don't want to die at someone else's house. That'd be kind of fucked up. Other than that, I don't know. I'd, I'd Probably donate my PC, my my new Xbox One to somebody. Other than that, I, one day ain't enough to do a whole lot. But a string of acts, if you mean like crazed shit, I got nothing for you. Sorry. If uh, if I was going to be a billionaire, then I got plenty. But they didn't ask that. Um, African or European swallow? African. If we throw rice at our wedding, our, at our weddings, does that mean Asians throw hamburgers at their weddings? I fucking hope so. That'd be cool. I would love to grab a couple hamburgers like that. Uh, do you have any secret that would screw everything up if people knew about it? Um, I would say so, yeah. I, I think uh, this would be during high school time. I would say that if, if, people, if people knew this one thing, this one simple thing, really, uh, I, I'm not sure if it would screw everything up, but it would it, change a lot of minds. It would make people look at me a little bit different. Um, so, yeah, that would screw everything up. I'll go with that, sure. Uh, if you see yourself as, uh, if you see yourself as one South Park character, which one is it? And they actually went on to continue to say that it doesn't have to be, um, the four main. But unfortunately, I'd have to say it's probably Stan, of all of them. No, uh, fuck Cartman, then Kenny, you know, can't really understand him anyway, and he just constantly dies. Um, Kyle's cool, but, nah, I'd have to go with Stan. Um, the rest of the rest of the cast, I don't see my, I don't really see myself as one of them, um, so I have to go with Stan. Uh, would you rather fight one hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? A uh, hundred duck-sized horses, definitely. Just kick all those little fuckers. That'd be fun. Favorite Pokemon. Mm. This one is so easy. And at the same time, it's like, I, I mean, there's about 700 plus. I don't know the exact number. My favorite Pokemon, without a doubt, is Sand Slash. Now he didn't ask why, but I have to give a why because I love, I love Sand Slash. The reason why is one, I've actually never seen him in a, in, a, in a Pokemon episode. He probably is in one. I've just never seen him. I can probably look it up. But I won't. Not right now. But the reason I love him is because I, there's an early episode. In uh, the first season, it's probably just a few episodes in, even, um, where Ash fights a non-official gym. I think the guy said he, he was going to get 100 Pokemon wins before he ventures off or something like that. And his main Pokemon is a Sandshrew, and this Sandshrew is badass. Sand Slash, now, when a Sandshrew evolves, he gets claws, and he gets fucking Super Saiyan 3 hair, essentially. And I just, I, I don't know why, I just fucking love him. The second I saw him, I loved him. Um... I don't know, I, just, I, I, I can't think of anyone else I love more. There are some cooler Pokemon, there are some pretty cool Pokemon. I, I love Golem, Gengar is pretty cool, um, but Sand Slash is my all-time favorite. Nothing will change that. No, and Zapdos is pretty cool. Uh, if everyone on Earth died, and scientists, before they died, made a rat that could reproduce with a human, would you repopulate the world? Fuck no. One, because, I mean, are, are we assuming this rat is rat-sized, or is it bigger, like, Cause no, <laughs> just just no, fuck that. The world can die. I ain't reproducing with a rat. Not gonna happen. Uh, how many shit nuggets do you have in South Park? Stick of truth. I think I had probably ten plus. Um, I never used them. I hate. I I never used really any items except health potions and shit. So yeah. Uh, what was your favorite South Park character? Um, I was gonna say Kenny, but um. I don't really know, to be honest. Can we choose alter egos as well? Because like, you know, I like Mysterion; it's pretty cool. Uh, naturally, I don't. I obviously, I don't have to stick to the main four here. But again, oh, I was gonna say again, they're they're kind of the, just the ones you you see most often. Um, 
Hmm. It, I would say it's it's a tie. I'll say this. It's a tie between probably Kenny and Jesus. They're probably my two all-time favorites. Um, yeah, add Chef into that. He's pretty cool, too. So, sorry. I can't really answer who's my perfect favorite. They're all they're all pretty good. Uh, those three, anyway. Um, God damn. This one I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to Google these faces again just to make sure I got this right. I hate this question. I really do. Um... That's what I did last time too. When I looked at it, because like, one of them, or uh, yeah, two of these people, or yeah, two of them, I was like, I was like, I know the names, but I can't put a face to them. And uh, once I realized who they were, I was like, God damn it! Uh, <laughs> so, who would you marry? Who would you kill? Who would you have sex with? <sighs> I would kill Rosie O'Donnell. Fuck Rosie O'Donnell. I fucking uh, just fuck Rosie O'Donnell. I would marry Betty White because she's too old to fuck. And I'd fuck Oprah. Because might as well. She's rich. Yeah. I assume I'll get paid for it. I'm okay with that. Completely okay with that. But fuck Rosie O'Donnell. She can... I'd, I'd easily do that. Easily kill Rosie. Um, if you could only play one video game for the rest of your life, what would it be? Can we count games that aren't out yet? I assume we can. I would go with... Uh, I'd go with the, one of the next Halo games, probably. I assume those would be... I assume eventually one of them is going to be good enough that I would easily play it for the rest of my life. Um, maybe Diablo 3 if it gets better. Right now it's pretty damn good. But I'd have to go with a Halo game. Then, uh, if you could have a species reassignment surgery, what species would you be? This is just kind of a... Kind of a strange question. Um... Let's just let's just go with if you could be any animal, what would you be? I I, I <laughs> this one is a pain in the ass because uh, I don't know. I mean most anim or most animals that people keep as pets don't exactly live a long life. You know, was like maybe a little over a decade for, for dogs and cats usually. Um, turtles live a long fucking time, but no one wants to be a fucking turtle. I mean, you, you, you wouldn't get anywhere. I can't be anything in the water, because... Fuck that. Not, not a fan of that. Um, I don't want to be anything flying, because who the fuck knows who's going to shoot me randomly, eventually. Um, fuck. This one's just hard, because I don't know what I would want to be. Let's go with... Oh, fuck. Let's go with a lion. You don't fuck with a lion. Let me go with a lion. Yeah. Go with lion. There we go. Or actually, you know what? No, not a lion. A cheetah. Those are cooler. I like cheetahs. Or a leopard. No, cheetah. Cheetah. We'll go with cheetah. Uh, how much curic have you shit? I don't know. A thousand curic. It's just a random guess there. Um, why do you hate Christmas? I don't. That's an easy question. To be or not to be? Not to be. Naturally. What was your favorite South Park episode? Um, the World of Warcraft one. Top of my head, probably that one. Um, I can't think of any others that that just like, stand out. I love the World of Warcraft one so much. Um, and the final one, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you pick and why? This one, I uh, see. I hate. I hate that I have to answer this one like I'm going to. But I would live where I'm living. <laughs> because as much as I hate the snow, Michigan Michigan can just fuck off when it comes to snow. I don't really care to live anywhere else because in my area, we don't get tornadoes. Or at least in my town, I've never had a tornado. We don't get earthquakes. We, we get a little bit of flooding from rain, but it's not like an actual like real flood from the ocean or anything. Because we don't live, I don't live by the ocean. Uh, I have you know, lakes around, but they're not that close. So, I mean, like, major disasters don't happen where I live. I love that. So, I would pick to live where I'm living now. Uh, maybe a place where, maybe a little away to get better internet, but that's about it. So. So, yeah, let me, uh, let me go through and try to find out and say what my favorite question would be here. This is going to be, it's going to take me a second. Alright, I have given it a decent amount of thought. I'm going to have to go with... 
the favorite Pokemon question. I mean, it. What's funny is, it, if people if people knew me well enough, I no offense to anybody, of course, um, people could have easily taken this question, the route of uh, superpowers or, or time travel and stuff like that. That's the shit that gets me interested. Um, but I would say it was, it was a pretty close tie between um, the favorite Pokemon and uh, what game would you play for the rest of your life because uh, both those would. Oh, the the Pokemon one would just, the Pokemon one I could just talk about forever. The, the the game one would be a pretty hard one to to answer at times because but you know I've got some pretty good friends on Xbox Live and if, as long as they're there to play Halo with, I could play Halo forever as long as the Halo's good naturally and it keeps them interested. Um, but yeah, so the I have to go with the favorite the favorite Pokemon as the most interesting here. Um, because let's be honest, I could I I wanted to continue on with that one, I really did, because uh, I think if I actually went through all the Pokemon, I'd be like, oh my god, I forgot about this one, and this one. But like I said, you know, these are, most of these questions were pretty much from the top of my head. Um, so yes, congratulations to the guy who asked that question, and uh, I will get in touch with him as soon as I can. And uh, I'm excited to see. Hopefully, he doesn't just have South Park on his list. I'm I'd be slightly upset if that happened. I. I'm prepared for it, but I hope that's not the case. Um, and I'll see. I'll be uploading this uh, around noon or so for when I actually do the actual giveaway. And uh, and yeah, so thanks for everyone who participated. I'm glad people were interested in it. And uh, I'll see you guys pretty soon. Let me first apologize, guys. It's uh, it's 11:50 right now. Hi. And uh, got my little hat. Got all the names here. It's gonna be a while to get these, all these names written down, by the way. It's been a little while. And, uh, you can't tell. Let's see if I can't. There we go. So, I stole these labels from work. And, uh, gotta flip that name over. I've just been shuffling these for a while. And uh, the reason I have the camera written down is so I can actually show the hat portion. And, uh, I think I've shuffled them enough. I might upload this a little bit too late, which is alright with me. You guys can wait a couple more minutes, right? Alright. Let's, uh... Let me... Let me run these names around here. I'm trying to make sure none of them are, like, facing me, really. It's a pain in the ass. These are labels, so they're sticky as well. So... I'm trying to make sure I don't get two of them stuck together. Alright. see what we can do here. And... There we go. Alright. I have the winner of the South Park and Stick of Truth. And I don't care what happens that hat. Now, see if I can't aim this up. A little bit. Good enough. That's right. I'm, I'm delaying this shit because I can. I just woke up so, the official winner, and no offense to the YouTubers, I honestly do hope that a vault person is the winner. The official winner. You probably can't read my handwriting. I wrote all this pretty quick. There you go. That is the official winner. Captain Lib. So, thanks, for, thanks everyone for joining in, and I'll see you guys soon.